Am I going around a big circle? I can't tell. Oh, sh Crap. Hey guys, CS here, and welcome to the third installment of Treasure Trap. Are you ready to explore strange new life underwater, and amazing new rooms, and more incredible depths by yours truly? Well then look no further, because we are going to get right into it right now. As you might be able to see, yes, I'm back at having five lives again. That is because I once again redid some of those levels just so I could keep my lives and not die like a complete idiot. And I'm going to explore some really cool rooms this time. And to be perfectly honest, there are rooms on this ship that I don't even... And there I go, right away, losing some lives, which is really awesome. And actually, I will be gaining more lives as I go along, and if I do better, I believe like every maybe 150 bars of gold or two bars of gold, I will actually gain another life, but not before then, unfortunately. Um, wow, okay. Maybe I should just... Maybe I should just... Uh, avoid this room. Maybe I should try to go really fast and try to get through there. Okay, cool. All right, so I got one life still. Um, hold on one second. We're just gonna start this again. Hey, how's it going? Don't mind him. He's just hanging around. He hasn't hurt anybody yet. So once more with feeling. Okay, let's go this way. And if I remember correctly, I need to sprint. I need to run. Yes, I need to run like hell. There we go. Just run, run, run. Okay. Whew. Good. I cannot tell you how many times... This is actually my third time trying this, just because these mine guys are so relentless. But, uh, yeah, get ready to explore some really cool parts of the ship. And, uh, let's see. There are some doors in this game I don't remember where they lead to. Like this one? This is like an off-the-path door. Let's try it out. Okay. More of complete conveyor belt hell here. And, uh, okay. This looks just like a room that we have seen before, but with nothing in it. Interesting. Am I going around a big circle? I can't tell. Oh, sh Crap. Okay, I'm just... I'm going to, uh... Wow, there is no escaping this unless you have the instinct to move absolutely forward. Okay. God, this is really a absolute conveyor belt maze. And then you just drop right off. Okay, cool. And, uh, ooh. I, I, see, I like how the design of the walls change and just the artwork is really cool. At least in that one room. Now I do feel like this is one gigantic circle. Okay, take point this way. Okay. I think this is just one big ploy so that my oxygen runs out really fast. So I think the goal is to get that green key and then get out of this area as soon as I can. So I'm going to restart and I will be right back. Alright, let's try to fool him. Up, oh, up, oh, okay, there he is. He's on the wrong side though. I need him to be on the other side. Let's see if I can trick him again. Ah, ah, oh, crap. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, it's a face-off. It's a face-off. Oh, man, this is not good. You know what? This is a situation where I need to use the helper fish, which is actually called a smart fish. So I'm going to press S, and here he comes, floating in the room, and he is going to gobble up that nasty enemy for me. Any minute now. Any minute now. I think my fish is stuck in the door. That is not good. Okay, there he goes. Okay, good. I just needed to get the enemy in a position where the fish would be able to eat him. And there we go. The path is completely clear now. Alright, let's see. I'm going to drop my blue key in place of it because I really don't need that one anymore. I already explored all the rooms which require the blue key. So, awesome. Okay, I'm going to grab some air, and then I'll be on my way. 
Oh boy. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Wow. I hate those rooms. I really need to get out of conveyor belt hell because this is driving me nuts. I'm on my way back to the main part of the map, which uh, is a lot less scary. Oh man, it is hard to get in those doors, I gotta tell ya. I just lost a life in between trying to do that. Okay, so back to the fun puzzle rooms. So there is a profound secret to this room, and the secret is that, oh well, okay, the conundrum is that I don't have any way of being able to reach this. Even if I drop a key to stand on, I cannot get up there. So. There, the secret is there. This this is a movable block at the bottom, so I need to have the crab uh, be able to move that block out of the way for me. And I'm going to position this barrel here to do that. And then we just wait, watch and learn. There it goes. Boom. Now I can very easily get to that once I use my barrel again. Uh, uh-oh, this is not good. My barrel cannot be pushed over there. Um, uh, let's see if I can fix this. Make sure I don't get the barrel stuck too close to the wall this time. And then we'll be absolutely fine. Alright, there we go. Grabbing that gold. So now that that's done, let's move on upward. And, uh, this is not a good room to be in. Mm, actually, uh, I actually... Oh, I remember what happened is here. This block rises as soon as I... Ah, ha, ha. Okay. Good. Safe. Completely safe. Oh, yeah. Lucky for my memory is not that bad. There are disappearing blocks, I remember. So, I gotta be very careful here. And I think the key is to just keep on jumping so that I don't let him out. Pray for me. Haha. -ha. Yes. Okay. That's how you do it. I'm actually only six bars of gold away from being able to save again, which is awesome. Okay, I need to get up here. And that's not going to happen. Um... I think this pillar is movable or pushable, which means I should be able to get it over here. And then we will be doing great. Yep, you gotta construct your own towers here. Oh, Octo! Octo, Mr. Octo, I did not need that. Uh, that was an incredible scare. Um, and thank God there's air in this room because I really need air right now. Okay, good. We are completely good on air. And, oh yeah. Oh, what a nice gift. Thank you. Gold just fell from the sky. That was an amazing moment in this diver's life. Just spectacular. W what a magical thing. No! No, Mr. Octo! No! Don't! Don't! Okay. Good. I tell you, Mr. Octopus is giving me a freaking heart attack here. Okay, so I have another new key to pick up, and I do want to make sure I... Okay, I'll leave that old, boring, bland-looking key behind, and I will get the shiny new blue one. New save point. Awesome. Let's save that. Uh... Uh... Okay. Now, I didn't name that save game as, like, an omen for what's gonna happen, but, uh, you know, it's possible. I, I likely will screw this up pretty badly once again, just like I did in Maze Hell. This is kind of a fun room. It's like the, uh, Sea Anemone, uh, collaboration area. It's like, hey guys, what's up? It's like a social gathering here. That's pretty cool. Oh man, this room. Okay, so the key here is to, uh, I, you know, I'm not, no, not up for that right now. Let's just, let's go this way. Alright, so this 
This involves a very, very exact jump. So I'm going to move the table. Uh, uh, okay, I'm not going to move the table because it, the table's stuck in the corner. I need to convince this blue fish over here, which is uh, once again the piranha. And I'm actually, I was actually wrong about uh, the piranhas. Piranhas are very small fish. I did not realize that piranhas are very small fish, but they are. Um, and uh, so I need to convince the piranha to push out a box for me here and uh, at some point that is going to happen. I think it's going to happen right now actually. And by the way, one of you guys commented, I'm sorry I don't remember who, but you commented that <laughs> the fish looks like Cookie Monster. <laughs> and I have to completely agree. Um, that is definitely a Cookie Monster fish. Or perhaps it's Dory. Um, it, it could very well be Dory from that new movie. Wow. Okay, now that was pure luck right there. You have to be very exact on that jump in order to make it. And now I need to be very exact getting out of here or I will die spectacularly. Oh, okay, there we go. That was a nice spectacular death right there. You know, I also like how he spins around when he dies. You know, it's like he, he just loses... Like, that's what happened when most people lose consciousness, right? They just go... Okay, so onward now from that room. I am now going to take the leaps necessary here and cross the Great Divides and hopefully not kill myself in the process. And oh my god, they are right on my tail. Oh man, the pack of wolves is closing in and oh, I was almost there. Okay, let's try that again. Let us, uh, oh man. Well, okay, that was unfortunate. That was really unfortunate. This is my last life here, and then I might just call the episode quits if I can't get any further. Ah, come on. This is very... Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Made it. God, I really need some air, actually. I... But I... There's... Okay, cool. There's air right here. Okay, so we made it pretty far now, uh, but I'm actually going to probably redo stuff from that last save point since I am now down to zero lives and there's no chance I'll be able to finish the game on zero lives. Did you enjoy the gameplay? Cool. Until next time, this is CS signing out.